Now you may be wondering what Pollock ball is. Uh, Pollock ball, if you'll notice in the name, is derived from or inspired by the American painter Jackson Pollock, who is famous for being part of the abstra uh, abstract expressionist movement, as well as being a progenitor of a form of painting called action painting, uh, which is sort of more where you're getting painting where you're using an action to create paint or art rather than using a very carefully set applied brush strokes and very uh, particular techniques. And it really so, uh, something that inspired me uh, to uh, work on this particular project to create a game that uh, embodies that idea of action or gestural movement uh, using virtual reality. And so in this case, we're gonna use this as our tool uh, sort of not necessarily a household object uh, or not necessarily drip painting, but the idea is to create something that is engaging uh, that allows people to create art as they're uh, moving around. So what we've done is, uh, and, and, and we'll sort of take a look at this together, is I've created a game where we've got a room uh, that is, uh, has a, a large ball, and it didn't start as a large ball, that sort of creates large paint splatters on the wall uh, that are randomly colored each time uh, they come in contact with something. So what you do as a player is you can dodge this ball that's always coming towards you uh, and you try to deflect it and reflect it back in order to paint the walls. And the more the, uh, the ball comes in contact with the wall in specific places, the more that you're completing this sort of artistic uh, sort of expression of yourself in a virtual space. Uh, so let's uh, let's take a look. What makes Pollock Ball what it is? Uh, we start by having a ball that has some audio sources that are connected, so it makes sounds when the ball hits the wall or when it hits the paddle in the game. We've got a room prefab that has floors and walls that can be scaled quickly because they're all attached to the same object. We've got a series of point lights creating the lighting in the room so that it's not computationally expensive. And we've got the Steam VR plugin with a paddle object that's been attached, uh, the paddle I got from the asset store and an audio manager that plays music in the background as well as a, a, a set of white noise uh, when it plays. Uh, I also used uh, some scripts uh, that I've modified from a project uh, called Ball Bounce that I found online and another project called Splatter VR uh, that I used in conjunction to inspire me to sort of finish the project here by learning from their examples to create Pollock Ball. Uh, when the ball hits a wall, it creates an instantiated object. Uh, that's how the paint is scattered everywhere. Okay, cool. So let's take a look at what happens when people actually get a chance to play it. Thank you very much, Tom, for joining me here. Uh, what did you think? Uh, it, was, it was really interesting, actually. Um, I was very immersed in it. Uh, I found it quite, quite a relaxing experience. Uh, it's, I'm not very, uh, I'm, I'm quite new to the VR. Uh, experience, so uh, it was very unusual, but uh, I, I enjoyed it. It was good. Yeah. Uh, when you first started, did you have any difficulties with the way the game played? Uh, so the way the ball moved, it was quite slow at first until I got the hang of it, uh, and I wanted to instinctively bat it like a like a tennis ball, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, which you can't really do. It's more of a, a deflection, mm. um, which it wasn't frustrating. It's just it takes some getting used to. Yeah. Uh, but then that was part of the fun. Once you got the technique right, then, um, then it, it was much more enjoyable. Okay. Uh, yeah, Gen generally very good. Cool. Yeah, thanks very much for your time, Tom. Uh, thank good. you so much for coming over, Colleen. Uh, first off, I guess, uh, what did you think of the experience? How did you like it? I like it. It's very fun. It's um, completely new because I've only done once the VR thing and I was just watching. I was not like active. Uh, but it's really fun, like any game really, I find you get sucked into it very quickly and you're like, I really want to paint that damn wall. <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, that was, I liked it. Cool. It's just, it's more like you lose, you completely have no clue where you are. Mm -hmm. So like when you hit the piano, you're like, oops, <laughs> I didn't move too much, but it's, it's fun, I like it. 
Well, speaking of that, did you feel convinced that you were in that place? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't, you, you can barely hear people around, and if you just focus on what you're doing, you just, yeah, you're in the room, you're painting. Yeah. It's a big ball. Yeah. yeah. It's quite fun. How did it feel to use the paddle? Did it feel like it was really a paddle? Did you feel uh, when the ball hit the paddle? Uh, I think you might have a little... Now that you ask, I don't remember if there was a vibration, I kind of feel like there was. Maybe it's just because of the noise. Mm. Um, I think sometimes the it was not doing what I was thought it would be doing, so it kept going vertical and hitting my head, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just because I suck. Mm. But no, it was quite fun. I think it's really well made because when you, depending on how you hold it, it actually turns around, so that is definitely well made. Cool. Uh, would you play again? Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Okay, cool. Thank you, Colleen. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, this is Joanne. She's just had a chance to play my game real quick. Uh, first off, let's start off. What did you think of the game? It was fun. It was, um, the ball was bigger than I thought it was going to be, so it felt quite strange having a big ball coming towards you, but <laughs> once you started hitting it, it sort of became normal. Okay. It was kind of fun, like, to have that hang time, like, with the ball going. You've got like the anticipation of the ball coming back to you. Yeah. Yeah, and I found myself trying to use my other hand on stage rather than the paddle one as well. <laughs> so, cool. trying to use more hands. Uh, because you've been seeing me build this basically from the ground up, how do you feel about seeing it in VR for the first time rather than on the screen? I felt different. The room felt bigger than seeing on the screen. It was a lot smaller on the screen, but. Once you play it, you feel the lock in the spot when you're in there. Yeah. Big ball, and, you know, paddle, so yeah, it's cool. Did you think that the ball was too big? Or did it feel Maybe natural for the space? It felt too big at first, but once you started playing it, it was all right. And you got used to it. I think it's because my expectations, having seen you build it, were different. Okay. Cool. Uh, is there any particular part of the experience that you like the most? Um, it's fun once you got the hang of it and like you can direct the ball where you wanted it to go rather than it just hitting anywhere. Yeah. Cool. Would you play again? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. So as you can see from some of the videos, uh, my friends and family really enjoyed playing the game. With that said, it's a bit of a bias because they are my friends and family, uh, but I, it is nice to see that the game was engaging. Uh, and it was really good to sort of hear their feedback and see the looks on their faces as they were playing, uh, you know, in a couple of different ways where uh, they were really excited to be sort of part of that. They got really uh, sort of into moving around or shocked when the ball first came at them uh, and they didn't realize uh, how fast that would give me. So some of the choices that I made during development, uh, it was nice to see that they were effective. With that said, some of the things that I'd really like to do if I were to continue development with the project uh, would be to get the physics working. Uh, as it stands, it's sort of you can reflect the ball uh, using the, uh, the, the controller, but what I'd really like to do is have a natural hitting motion, as you would expect. And a lot of people when they first played really thought that it would be like hitting a tennis ball rather than sort of like one of those little ball games that you play where you hit the ball uh, and it bounces back and forth. So having more natural physics uh, would be the next step. Uh, and as well, I wanted to sort of make this sort of a physical uh, uh, experience as well. I played around with adding screenshot cameras uh, to the game, but that would require a lot more time to get functioning and uh, set up properly as having uh, additional cameras in the scene uh, can make it difficult for the Steam VR camera to work the way that it should. Uh, so I'm still working on ways to solve that problem as well. Uh, but what that would eventually be is sort of a, a chance for people to sort of see their painting in a real space um, because it's a lot more difficult to do that kind of thing without actually having a white uh, room to baby basically throw paint all over, which is kind of the point. So you're able to actually make something with this virtual space that you're, 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 you're using. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Uh, I will uh, post a link to a playable version of this if you've got a Vive set up and would like to check it out. And uh, thank you for your time.